Welcome to DLC Quest. I bet you're asking yourself, what is DLC Quest? Well, DLC Quest has been around for ages. It's, I, I know it's been out for over a year. And basically DLC Quest is a play on what happens when you take the concept of DLC too far, when you go to the extremes of DLC. And DLC Quest has actually just been greenlit on Steam, or has been successfully launched after a successful greenlight campaign, whichever one you want to call it. So I decided to pick up a copy of the new Steam DLC Quest and see what we had. So we have the standard DLC Quest, and we also have the little add-on with Premium or Die Hard, which gives you a, another, well, full-length campaign. If you, however, try to load Live Premium, it will give you a suggestion. You should try the original DLC quest first. Or don't. I'm a message box, not a cop. So, we will hit cancel, and we will play the original DLC quest first. And I remember playing this a while ago, and I haven't played it since, so this is essentially going to be all brand new to me. So there we are, with our square eyes, and there is a princess, and we have a horse. And there is the bad guy. Oh no, he is taking our princess. Come back with the princess. Motivation. So onwards. Welcome to DLC Quest, you might notice some missing features like animation, sound, and moving to the left. I think a little DLC can't solve. Talk to the shopkeep. So we can't go left. We can go right. And this is done with arrow keys, which I forgot. Which is why when I tried to move with WAS and D, it didn't work. So we can't go left. We can't jump. We can literally walk forwards, and that's it. That bad guy just stole Princess MacGuffin. You have to rescue her. Also, he murdered your uncle. <laughs> I think he might have peed in the town's water supply too. Seems a bit less important now though. Buy some DLC and get going. Right, what do we want? We have four coins so we can only buy the movement pack. Experience next gen control features jumping and moving left. There are new refunds. Okay, so now we can move left as well. Aha, we have left and we don't have jump. Z is jump, there we go. So now we have jump and we have moved the other direction as well. So even though the name is DLC Quest, you don't actually pay for anything. It's all done with the in-game currency of these coins. And we have a box, new DLC pack available, armor for your horse pack. All the DLC is purchased from the shopkeep. Yes, I'm fully aware of this. Bad guy went that way. Big bushes can be cut with a sword. We don't have a sword. Let's talk. Back for more DLC. What do we want? We have 15 coins. We can get the animation pack. Experience the difference the moving images make. There are no refunds. There are no refunds. Shiny armor for your horse. Stupidly priced. And it doesn't do anything. Gives your horse shades though. Let's pick up the three packs we need. So now we have sound. We have unlocked the achievement. These used to come as standard. We'll close. And we'll get back on with this game. So, I can't remember much about my first time playing through DLC Quest. But it's a wonderful idea, and it's really kind of a humorous look at what's going on in gaming today. I mean, especially as well when you take... Let's talk to this guy quickly. Need a sword to chop down some bushes? Yes! You'll need to sharpen it on this grindstone. About 10,000 turns should do it. Use the grindstone. New DLC pack. Time is money. This isn't breaking your immersion, is it? Follow us. Created by. Sorry. So now we have the time is money pack available to us. Can't stand the grind. Purchase this pack to get a thousand times grinding speed. There are no refunds for this item, as always. But with the Games these days being what they are, I mean, in an industry now where we see, you know, people throwing down 60, 80 bucks for a game or 20, 20 to 35 pounds for a game, and yet you get people complaining that, oh, stuff that is now DLC used to be included in a game for free, and 
Please don't hurt the sheep from Shepherd. You don't so much get expansion packs these days as you do DLC add-ons, and you have things like Dead Space that has the DLC in a full price game as well. Microtransactions, yeah. It's just really interesting to see a game like this actually kind of play on it and just be like, well, you know, what happens? What happens if you were to do an entire game like this? Ironically, of course. Warning, reports of strange encounters in this area. Look at this. Dun dun dun. What was that? Whenever I encounter someone, the screen does that. Sorry. You let me pass. Never. You'll never outsmart me. Need to see pack psychological warfare. We are going to keep having the encounter with random. Dun dun dun. Really? Just, oh, ah. So let's go up and get these points up here instead. The one thing I always liked about this game was the music. It's so happy and cheery. At the moment. Whoa. Right, we have enough coins to get the sword upgrade if we need it. But can we get the psychological warfare one? Let's talk to the shepherd quickly. I hope nobody attacks my sheep. I'll let them wander around freely. Hadn't even considered it. Player? Shepherd? Sorry, 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 sorry. I am extremely tempted just to sit there and press 10,000 times. So the psychological pack is 50. Exclusive pre-order DLC for the hot new game. But we will pick up the time is money pack so we can get a sword. I don't really want to talk too much about the whole... What way is DLC going, etc. It's an awkward one. And also my personal stance on it will probably... Uh, not be agreed with by everyone. Which is why, again, I don't really want to mention it but i do like the fact that this game is playing on it and i do think it is something that people need to be aware of i mean i for one have bought too much dlc for certain games i mean mass effect and dragon age for example i have purchased pretty much everything that exists for them including even the stupid little uh was it april fool's prank dlc pack for dragon age that's how far i go because I'm on the concept of if I, you know, if I really enjoy a game, then I want everything for the game. Of course, this is the perfect thing of what they're after with DLC. They're after people as stupid as me. New DLC pack available. Double jump. We have killed the sheep. Caution. Drop. But no, we are not going to drop. This is not dubstep. We are going to collect coins. And then we are going to use said coins to unlock stuff. We got here. I don't have anything relevant at this current time. What? I'll play an important role soon, but you don't know that yet. You're required DLC. This forest is very dense. You'll need a map to access the other side. New DLC available. Map pack. Dead end. No, really, just come back. You lied. You lied. Why would the game lie to me? Okay, so I think we have enough of the psychological pack now. If I can actually remember where out is. There we go. And get these ones. That first step was a doozy. Ah, uh, that's the drop down, I'm guessing. Yes. Up, oh, up. Oh. And then if we drop down here, we can collect more coins. I'm really tempted to spend these coins on the horse armor instead. We need double jump though. So first things first, we'll go get double jump to allow us to get more coins. Then we need to go this way. Back for more DLC. Oh, the map pack is 140. Double jump is 100, so we can only buy that one. So up we go. 
See, if I wasn't to have bought the time is money pack, if I was to just have stood here and ground that out, A, I wonder if it would have let me. And B, it would mean interesting things for how many coins I would now have and what I'd be able to do with them. Player, Shepard. And now things should work differently. He has appeared. Dun dun dun. Wait, is that the limited edition psychological warfare pack? Yep. Available only as a pre-order exclusive. Can I have it? Will you leave me alone? Deal. Don't even know why I wanted that pack, I just had to have it. That is a question I have asked myself far too many times. I have bought DLC for no other reason than cause. It is rather odd to be playing this. Just kind of see, oh god, they're talking about me. There's treasure up there. I can see it, but I can't reach it. Well, if we had the double jump pack, maybe. What do we got? Secret passageway. And back now, the other way we go. Secret passageway. I'm a filler NPC. I have nothing to contribute to the situation at hand. You're kidding, right? You don't even know how I got down here. Poor guy. Right, there's another one here. Ah, oh, we're at 95. So close. Let's go up. No, nope, up. There you go, little guy. Hmm. Ah, yes. Through there. There we go. Success. Victory onto Zod. Now with 111, we can pick up the double jump! I say anything cooler has come out. Like super duper horse armor. What do we got? We can't afford the map pack, but we can get double jump. Achievement unlocked, big spender. And now we can head over here. We can go up this way, grab these ones. Oh, this one. You're me, Ma. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a scout. Be back. Oh. Down. There are things all over the place for me to collect. Oh, where did we just go? Oh, we got a present. New DLC pack for the sexy outfits pack. We can't get up. So do we have to go down? Yes. I want the sexy outfits. But I have a feeling that they are going to be way too many coins for us to be able to afford. Also ceiling. Alright. Where are we? Up here? No. There. Ah, oh, no. Right, we got this. Come on. And one, two. And one, two. Oh, oh. Success. I'm all right, but we might as well kill the sheep. Do we have anything else that we can get? Yes, there. Wow. That was close. Right. So we have 107. And now we have a merchant. Sexy outfits pack. But the NPCs of the world slip in something a little more comfortable. Yes. And we still cannot afford the map pack. But we can go get the other gift. 
Wow. And that guy is now wearing a bra. And so is the blacksmith. Nice. And so is the shepherd. And so is the cloud wannabe. Oh god. We've made a horrible mistake. So we're close to the 110, 119, and play three. Top hat pack. Because everyone looks better in a top hat. 142. Right, we can get the map now so we can progress. But we are not going to progress. We're going to go get the other DLC. That's over. Where are we gonna? The one that's there's nothing plot centric over here. The bad guy went east. Remember? Hey, hero! What? Thank goodness you came, hero. I need your help. Wolves have been stealing children. I also lost my entire book of spells. Wait, wolves? Children? I can't find my fishing rod. No, it's just a normal fishing rod. You must rescue the children, recover the fish, enchant the book, and find my fishing rod. You know what? No, just no. I don't even know you. Solve your own problems. Oh, just once. I would like to be able to say that in the game. But I'll admit, I am that guy that when at the beginning of Pokemon, it asks if you want to be a Pokemon trainer. I say no. There we go. We now have the pet pack. That's what I was after. Let's go see what we can get. Let's see if we have enough coins for it. Where are we going? This way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Oh. Past the sexy blacksmith. Past the ugly horse. Wait, we can talk to the horse? Nay. Nay. And... Yes. Adorable. Frankly, you'll buy anything at this point. It's true. I will. Look at me, I've got a new hat. Right, so we now have a pet. Yes, we have a pet goldfish. It's a goldfish, you tap the glass, but the fish is oblivious. Whatever it does, it's doing it now. Disappointing. Just like many other pieces of DLC. So there you go, DLC Quest. It's available now on Steam if you haven't ever played it before. And it's only like £1.50 for both this and the Live Premium. So... If you have any questions, queries, or comments about DLC Quest, or you just want to comment on DLC in general, then please feel free to leave them down below. And from myself and from everyone else at Elden 3, we will catch you for the next video. Peace, and enjoy the top hat. Woohoo!